you may want to look at the last five years of the MDG period. Thousands of miles from his homeland of Pakistan, Dr. Zulfi Bhutta leads a team focused on improving health for mothers and children across the globe. What you may want to do then is collect information on variables that you will need for that analysis. He still remembers vividly the professor who mentored him when he first decided to pursue pediatrics. Her first question to me was, well, what comes first? And I didn't quite understand at that time what she was talking about. And then the penny dropped what she was telling me is that if you want to do newborn medicine, well, the mother comes first. Thus began a lifelong journey, one that remains rooted in some of his earliest professional experiences. I was exposed to some of the injustices, the disparities in services, the whole issue of women's empowerment, their status in society, and how we could do far better than what we were doing. So where we are going is typical of the areas in and around Karachi. This is a very poor area, a very low standards of environmental sanitation and hygiene, is water insecure, also has uh, high rates of child mortality, morbidity. At the time, most newborn deaths in Pakistan were taking place at home or as women traveled to a hospital. Many of the disparities that you see are not just those between the rich and the poor, they're also geographic. So if you were to address those barriers, you would have to take the solutions to where people are. Wherever births are taking place, absolutely every place you should train people. Leading a research team at the Aga Khan University in Karachi, Zulfi Bhutta established a program of female nurse educators known as lady health workers. They visited women in their homes and villages and the results were dramatic. We had an impact on something that I never anticipated would happen. Uh, we reduced stillbirths by about 20%. But such outcomes did not come easily. The lady health workers operated in communities with traditional customs and values. Especially for mother and child's health, there were many people who were in the past who had to change their mind and change their mind was very challenging. One such community is Matiari, a two and a half hour drive northeast of Karachi. A small city of just over 20,000 people, Matiari is surrounded by fields of sugarcane and other crops. Nearby villages are home to agricultural workers and their families. But now, when I'm 15 years old, when I'm looking at it, it's been our acceptance in the community. We are the people who are in the community. We understand ourselves, we take our own hands, we give our own samples of our biological samples. और अपनी सोशल और इकोनॉमिक जो कंडीशन से उनके हवाले से भी हमसे डिस्कस करते हैं। For many women, the intervention of community-based health workers brought welcome change. पहले हमारे गांव में इतना हमें तालीम नहीं थी, इतना शाहूर नहीं था। जब ये आखान वाले आए हैं, लेडी हेल्थ वर्करों के जरिए हमें उन्होंने आगाही दी है, उनकी लड़कियां भी हमारे घरों में आती हैं और जी हमारा वजन भी करते हैं हमारे कद की नाप भी करते हैं ये लोग और हमें बताते हैं कि आपका वजन कम है या ज्यादा है फिर और हमें बताते हैं कि जब मैं हमल से थी जब मैं पेट से थी कि मुझे क्या क्या खाना है क्या क्या खोराक मेरे लिए सही है सेहतमंद रहेगी क्या क्या मेरे लिए खराब है मेरे मुझे मेरे लिए सही नहीं रहेगी Three decades of research covering a wide range of mother and child health issues has produced remarkable health outcomes, remaining firmly based in the mission of the lady health workers to educate and inform. कोर असाड़ी चौकड़ी उस स्कूल वाले अंतिम पर उन्हें के या जान न थी मिले ऐं अगर कान वाले तो ऐसा तमाम शुक्र गुजार आये हों जिके ये चंद था ये गज जानू कंद था उन्हें जबारे में ऐसा के जान थी मिले 
The research findings of Dr. Bhutta's teams have impacted healthcare policy and practice from Pakistan to neighboring Bangladesh and Afghanistan to the republics of Central Asia, the countries of East Africa and beyond. Along the way, he expanded his research into childhood communicable disease as well as the health of older children and adolescents. It is this concept of the continuum across fetal life, pre-pregnancy period, young infancy and beyond that is now being well appreciated. However, we are quite far from having perfect solutions on how we address that within the health systems and in public policy. For Zulfi Bhutta, it all starts with investment to address social disparities and in women's health and education. Those three elements are the masala, are the mix by which countries can make that investment in a shorter period of time and will also have long-term benefits and gain the dividend of peace because they are the ingredients of instability if you do not invest in them. Whatever the future holds, Dr. Bhutta remains passionately committed to a vocation that he first acknowledged four decades ago. What drives me is to see people improve their lives and livelihoods and to see that that can change. And I think the role of community health workers in low and middle income countries is a model for learning for high income countries as well. A reverse osmosis of innovation that was done at one end to reach the most marginalized. These are universal approaches that can be applied everywhere.